ladies and gentlemen, you know, they have some sections of Yellowstone that's still open, but is it really worth going there? Three people were attacked by bisons all in one week. One was a 71 year old Pennsylvania woman she and her daughter approached the bison. You know, you know what people do. They approach these wild beasts, which are unpredictable. And they approached it, took their usual pictures and everything. And they turned to get back in their vehicle and the bison attacked them. Got the 71 year old mother and gored her but they said her injuries were non-life-threatening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, prior to that on June 27th, a 34-year-old Colorado man was gored by a bull bison around the giant geyser, the Old Faithful. He suffered an arm injury. The male was walking with his family on the boardwalk when a bull bison charged a group. This is what park officials say. Family members did not leave the area, but the bull bison continued to charge and gore the man. A 25-year-old Ohio woman was gored on um, the 30th after uh, nearing a bison. So she walked up to the bison she walked up to the bison and the bison charged her she suffered several injuries including a puncture wound two other people were within 25 yards of a bison and this was back in may park regulators said the the visitors must stay more than 25 yards away of course they didn't listen As the bison walked near the boardwalk, a black sand basin just north of Old Faithful, the female on the boardwalk decided she was going to approach the bison, officials said, and subsequently the bison gored the woman and tossed her 10 feet into the air. This happened in May. Authorities warned the wildlife in Yellowstone Park are wild and could be dangerous when approached. When an animal is near a campsite, trail, boardwalk, parking lot, or in a developed area, give it space. And that's exactly what none of these people did. All of them have approached these animals when they were told in advance not to do it. Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm. You know, technically, ladies and gentlemen, a bison is a clean animal. We can eat bison. And if you look, it has a split hoof and it eats the cud, just like it says in the Bible. This is a clean animal. Back to the story. Officials advise visitors to keep more than 25 yards away from all large wildlife including bison, elk, bighorn sheep, deer, moose, and coyotes. They warned the visitors to stay a minimum of 100 yards from wolves and bears. If need be, turn around and go the other way to avoid interacting with wild animals in close proximity, visitors are advised. Bisons are unpredictable and can run three times faster than humans. Well, apparently, just looking at this story, none of the people in this story took that advice and they paid the price for it too. But see, that is the problem. You know, a lot of times these animal attacks are the fault of humans but they'll turn around and put the animal down and the person that approached the animal is the one that initiated the problem. And as you can see in all of these stories, 
every single one of these people did not take the advice of Yellowstone Park. They did what they wanted to do. And all of them ended up in the hospital messing around with a bison. It is never good to mess with wildlife. They don't know you. And when you approach them, they're going to see you as a threat. This is not your dog or cat at home. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. The bisons are definitely keeping themselves protected from these humans. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.